Ariel Wilson, who again gets the start and now getting an interception. Defense wins championships. I really believe that. I think every coach in the country believes that. I mean, if we're not hitting shots and we're not doing so awesome on offense, at least we know we have our defense, and that's like our ammunition. We, we can play defense and, and play tough and be really physical with our full court press and you know our half court defense and, and all the little wrinkles we have in it. Um, I think that's that's really big for our team, and I know that it's like their excitement when they can get out there and get some stops and kind of get the energy back if we're missing shots. You know, defense is our number one priority all the time. It's our number one priority in, in practice. It's our number one priority in games, and we want our defense to lead to our offense no matter what. A lot of teams play man, so the fact that we play zone, a lot of teams also play a 2-3 zone and we play a 3-2. So it's, it's difficult because we spend so much time on the rules of our defense and sometimes it takes you know our players one you know two years to learn every single rule of our defense so I think that's pretty hard to simulate when our players it takes them two years to to learn everything. I was with Coach A for you know a while and I've learned the defense in Albany so I was able to kind of sit out a year and I was able to learn a lot more of the defense uh, while I was sitting out and you know being on the offensive end they had to defend me and start running like the gaps and the holes so I can see why other teams have a lot of problems because, you know, our team doesn't have it perfect either. As you can see, obviously the stats speak for itself. And last year was our first year learning the defense. And this year, I think we finally got it to where they want it to be. Just to hold a team like UConn who scores, I think the next game they scored 124 points against Wichita State. So, of course, they're a scoring machine and to be able to hold them to 55 points shows that we're, what we're capable of. At the moment, I don't even think we really noticed that we were doing it. And then afterwards, we were like, Wow, if we can hold the best team in the nation to that low points, then we should be able to stop almost anyone. Obviously, the UCF-USF is a big rivalry, so we just want to win for our school and for the city of Orlando. And just last time we played them, we kind of let down on the defensive end, so that's going to be our motivation going into this game. We're very, very good offensively, and a lot of our teams in our conference are really good offensively. So what can we do to, you know, kind of counteract that? And it's just to have some one-on-one -on -one defensive pride and and to try to, you know, do the things we can do uh, to try to keep the game close and, and see what happens in the end. We never go out there to say, oh, we're going to score more points than the other team. We just go out there and say we're going to hold them to a certain amount of points and we're going to keep them to score at least amount of points as possible. And USF, they score a lot of points every game, so it's going to be tough and it's going to be a challenge, but I think we'll be able to go in and execute our game plan when we go against them. I think it's a lot to do with you can control the controllables and a lot of the things you can control are on the defensive end. You know, you can't always control if the ball goes in the basket or not every single day. Can you get better at that? Yeah, absolutely, but it's what you can control. And we can control our energy, effort, our defense, our mindset, and everything as a team defense, we can control those things. I think every college coach in the country would say defense wins games and obviously we're trying to win games.